Hey, by this is Alpha Zero Action Service. I'm gonna do a review and first impressions on Sokyo no Fafna Dead Aggressor Exodus. In other words, this is just like a sequel after Heaven and Earth. It was it is set two years after. Now for this episode, you know, like um, I thought it was okay. You know, nothing much going on. So if anything else, I'll just get started. If this review and first impressions comes out a little like um short. Don't be too surprised because I don't think that was much I can talk about. Okay, at the beginning we see to it that the Fafners, of course, are like still attacking a human continent or island, and lately like um they tried nuking the nuking the thing that was big. I think a a big Fafner, but that did not work out. So they end up having to have no choice but to retreat and grab some survivors along the way, and they managed to escape with someone else on board too. And so far, just back on another continent, you know, we see to it that I mean, uh, some of our characters are like just like training, living their lives normally, nothing much, nothing much really going on. So I just go, eh, whatever, you know, and so forth. Kenji and Sakura got along, probably as a couple, hopefully, and many others are just like um training for piloting and so forth. Well, I think like um, I think one of them like um. I forgot her name, but, um, Canon, I believe, yeah, I think Canon, let me take a look, um, yeah, she pretty much, like, um, is building up a new robot along with her, um, new mother, which she calls a mom, but calls her, uh, sensei at, um, when she's at school or something, so pretty much right there, and the mom was, the adoptive mother was pretty much reluctant about this because, Nothing much was going on here, so I just go like, "Oh man, now what? That's pretty like um, pretty nasty right there, because she doesn't want anyone else to pilot again. Because but we're building it, and I think there's two new characters. Like one guy tries to flirt with another girl at a store, but that did not work out so well. And then later, I think the survivor of a continent or island back at the beginning ends up going to another island until like a, I think both of the cores seems to be. Connect seem to be related or connected to each other. Of course, we got to see Soshi and Kazuki in this episode, but nothing much really going on. He just came by a visit for a bite to eat. That goes with Kaz that pretty much might have gone with Kanama too, Kazuki or Memphis, I don't know, or something like that. And so far, we see to it that he's trying to approach the island, and there's a Fafna on there, and I think it's the girl itself. And I think Mira ends up having like talking to someone, but we don't really know who she's talking to. Probably and probably an imaginary imaginary friend, but that's about it. So it ends with like um the commander talking to the other commander, saying that we have a way to bring up some kind of hope. So hope to hear you out or something. Blah blah blah, and that'll be about it. And it ends there. Next one, I think it's about something about hope. I know that that's about it, but. All I know is there's also a thing where it says like it's gonna be the beginning to the end or something, so I don't know. So pretty much that's about it. Nothing much really going on, just like the main characters just a couple characters living their own normal lives except for a certain few and so forth, as the Fafner Fafners are still attacking. So yeah. Um I'm gonna end it here people. Um expect my next maybe expect my next video to maybe be up in about like um thirty to 30 to 60 minutes at most, so please be patient, and I'll see y'all to then, alright? I'm off of zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you on my next video, alright? Later. Peace out. Bye-bye.